The rule of three is one of the most powerful concepts in writing, in speaking, and in delivering presentations. It has its roots, once again, in ancient Greece. Remember that guy, Aristotle, who we talked about? He said a story should have a beginning, a middle, and an end. In literature, here in the States, we have a lot of different fables, as you all do in your languages. We have like the three little pigs, the three musketeers, or um, the genie who grants Aladdin three wishes. It's the same across fables and stories written in any language. The rule of three is universal. I mentioned Hollywood movies. Every successful Hollywood movie, almost every single one, has to follow a three-act structure. Remember, act one, act two, act three. People remember information better when it is grouped and presented in threes. It's a universal formula across cultures and languages. Three, Avinash Kaushik is an expert in data analytics, and he works for a company we just talked about, Google. Google is a data-driven company. They have more data, and they look at more data than any other company. Avinash works at Google. He's an expert in data, but what does he call himself? You ready for this? He calls himself a storytelling evangelist. One of his roles is to teach sales professionals at the company to sell products. Here's the advice he gives them. If you have one hour with a customer, only talk about three opportunities with Google. If you have a little longer, let's say one and a half hours, you might be able to speak about four opportunities. If you have six hours with a customer, you can talk about four opportunities. He's making a joke, of course, but his point is that humans have a capacity for only three to four big ideas. Don't bombard your clients with too much information. Keep it to three details they need to know. One study found that three charms, but four alarms. That's the name of this actual study. If you want to be more persuasive, it says, stick to the rule of, th of three. Sometimes it's called the rule of thirds. Give people three benefits of an insurance plan that you've put together. Three reasons to take your financial advice. Three ways that you are different than other advisors they may be looking at. Three, not 23. 